the 17 acres that we're protecting and enhancing, if we didn't do this project, we would lose all of it in the next 25 years. This project helps create uh, wildlife and fisheries habitat uh, for um, crabs and shrimp and fisheries. Uh, there's, a, there's a great economical benefit here and also it um, provides water quality uh, benefits to Dickinson Bayou here. These marshes help cleanse the water as it, as it filters out into Galveston Bay and uh, provide shoreline stabilization against erosional forces from wind and tidal influences that may erode away the shoreline here and, and reduce the habitat for, for the future. We'll be putting seeds and then plants. We'll plant the levees with the Marsh Mania volunteers and CCA volunteers. And then uh, we'll try to, once the, the bottom settles to the right elevation, then we'll plant it. But in the meantime, these seeds will provide a, a good jump start. It's the first step. In order to protect shoreline, there's got to be plants available to protect the shoreline because those plants root themselves in the sediment and those roots help hold the sediment in or hold the sediment together and protect it against wave action and wind and everything like that. We've lost 36 acres of wetlands and then in addition to that we're losing about nine feet per year. We're building uh, a 10 acre marsh in front of a 17 acre marsh so we're protecting and restoring and enhancing a 27 acre marsh. The purpose is to protect the existing marsh and to create new marsh where there used to be marsh and also improve water quality. The smooth cordgrass seed, um, we monitor it, it's usually starting in the beginning of October. Uh, we'll take the seed back to the lab and it'll sit in a tubs for about two weeks or so. Uh, and then after it starts shattering off the stems, we'll go through and thrash that seed and take it off of the stem and then we take it, make our own salt water and we place that into the salt water and tubs and put it in the refrigerator and then we'll keep that seed in that water. Whenever the construction is finished, uh, which is Texas Parks and Wildlife's project, uh, they will give us the notification to go ahead and start planning a volunteer event to plant the site with volunteers. Hopefully the ideal time will be fall 2014. I definitely think the fishing, uh, the recreation opportunities improve with marsh creation um, uh, projects like this and the, and, the, and the response there is pretty immediate. The biggest challenge for most of these projects is funding. Our best project partners, uh, Coastal Conservation Association has been funding us and so we are joining forces right now to gather all the funds together to do construction of this marsh and we're hoping to start it pretty soon. We've all been wonderful partners and I think we're all going to benefit from this project. 